Hello, good day to you. So welcome back to the second part of the OpenShift installation. So the installation as complete is complete. So as you see, uh, it says play recap. So uh, it, it tells us the number of changes that were made. Uh, there were no failures. So it's completed successfully so now what we have to do is to log in into the uh to log into the dashboard and uh, so we can log into the to the dashboard of the open shift so to log into the dashboard we have to use the name so we have to use the host name so so on the on your desktop that you're using to uh, log into the dashboard make sure you also set up the proper dns so from here or uh, this is my desktop so i'm going to set up the dns uh, so this is going to be dot two and uh, let me check my ip address to confirm actually it is dot eight and uh, the name is this so make sure so on the desktop uh if you are on windows maybe you try to find a way to set up uh to edit the dns file for windows but on linux i am on the linux desktop so i edited the etsy hosts so let's log in so to log in we have to go to Let's say the browser and the URL will be https colon slash slash. Uh, hold on. Let me copy, recopy it. So colon slash slash will be and open shift dash master dot dollar stack dot com. Uh, wait for oh, sorry uh we actually have to put the post number at the end eight four eight four four three so https column slash slash open stack the last the, the last stack column eight four four three eight four four three is the port and you are going to get something like this and you have to go to advanced and say proceed so when you click on proceed you are going to come to this dashboard so you, you get welcome to openshift origin so this is openshift origin so to log in we need a username and password and that is the purpose of you know one of the variables that we created the openshift master identity providers so we'll there's a particular file so if we go to the so on the master i'll become root so if i look at the inventory file again so under this variable there's a particular file that's created etc origin master etc password so that is what that is the file that will contain the uh the the authentication that the username and password and the way you create the password you have to use the ht password command you have to use ht password then the this the file that is etc origin sorry origin or master so let me let me just copy let me just copy the file name this file so we have to use the command let me clear my screen we have to use hc password uh, this file then we we'll put the name the name is dollar so that's the name of the of the user that we are creating and click enter and uh, we have to put the password so it has added the password for user dollar 
so let us go to the dashboard now and now post dollar and the password so we are logged in to the the dashboard for open shift so uh that's it that so that i think that completes the part of you know installation uh, you know at least logging into the or uh, the dashboard so to create a project you can click on new project or uh, let's say demo project or uh, display name demo you can give a description and then you click on create so you come here and you click the type of projects that you want so maybe python ruby Perl, java javascript so uh let's let, let me see if there's a uh, some sample projects so let me google for sample sample open shift application so hold on. let me see i want to see if i can so basically well if you have an application okay let's see which that creates an application and lest i forget you can actually interact with openshift you know from the command line so if you go on the dashboard you can do things like or you have to then think you are not going to be roots uh, open shift so the command line is oc so let me see let me try something like oc get notes yeah so uh say oc get node so uh I have two nodes and they actually say is uh, one of my node is scheduling disabled so this is my uh, master so actually I think I should have this is something I should have done so this is my master which is says the scheduling on master is disabled but I this can be re-enabled you know to schedule on here but the other node is ready so that means they can deploy on the node so the oc command is um, a way by which you can interact with open shift if you don't want to use the dashboard or uh, open shift oc yeah so uh this is a way you can use to interact you know with the open shift or cluster so and you can also interact with it from the dashboard you can create let's say if you have a python project uh, you select it, the version of python and uh, select uh, you, you point it to the right repository and the name and create so that that's that's all you have to do to create a project so um yeah so that, that is i think that is basically the most important part of the installation and setup so i think i will make some other videos about you know application deployments and some other things that can be done on openshift so thank you for watching or uh, bye see you in some other videos if you have any comments uh, don't forget to drop them or any questions or any advice so thank you bye